Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell Latitude 7440. The service tag number for this one is an B8RHFY3. The regulatory model is a P174G. This is a 2023 model and in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how you can remove the battery or replace the battery for your laptop. Maybe within one year, I don't know what year you're watching this one, maybe there's a higher capacity battery and you just want to upgrade it. So you can, I'll leave the compatible battery linked in the video description and the tool that I'll be using through this service. And so just remember by replacing the battery main one in here, you're not going to change anything in the system. Everything's going to be left the way that you had it before. There's no extra configuration. And at the end of the video, I'll give you a tip how to keep the new battery in the best performance shape possible. So there's a little first initial charge and this charging that you need to do is very, very important, crucial for the new battery. And you should do that process once every couple of months at least. All right, first thing first, you wanna power off completely the laptop. You don't need to do any backup or anything like that. So I'm gonna put a workshop tower on the bottom. You're gonna flip it upside down. All right, and down here, we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. The screws have a little something called a C-lock on the other side of the screw. There's a bottleneck that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. So pretty much you just have to rotate them, loose them up, and that's it. There's three on the side, one on the back mid, one right on the center. So we're gonna loosen it now up. I'm gonna be using an iFix screwdriver set. We're gonna use a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tool and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. So we're gonna start from one corner and we're just gonna rotate this, this screw and we're gonna see it's coming out and it's pretty loose right there. So it's not coming out entirely, so don't yank it out. Just leave it like that. Do the same thing for the rest of the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, we are almost done unscrewing the screws in here. Now, once you're done, make sure all the screws are really loosened. You're gonna grab your opening tool and you're gonna start from one corner. So what you wanna do, you wanna stick this guitar pick about one or two millimeter right underneath and you wanna pull it up like that and make sure that it's loosened up. You want to go to the back rail, stick it right in there about two or three millimeters and then you want to flip it, just flip it like that and you want to hit those big click sounds, that's what you want to hear. Work yourself all across the back, make sure you hear those nice click sounds right there. You want to work yourself to the other corner. Now, once I get to the corner, you can work on the side by sticking one or two millimeters, not the whole thing. And do that on the both sides or sometimes once you do the Top corners, you can lift it up, wiggle it around a little bit, and it will release itself. And there we have it. All right, so down here we can see this enormous battery right in here. I can see one cell, two cell, three cell batteries. This is a 57 watt hour battery. The battery type is an WW8N8. I'll try to get the compatible battery for you guys. I'll link in the video description so you guys can purchase yours. This is a 11.4 volt battery, 4,878 milliamp hour battery. All right, these are pretty big. And here it says 13.35 volts, so I don't know which one is what, but I'll leave the compatible one in there. Now, to remove it, first thing first, you wanna disconnect it. To disconnect it, you wanna lift up this in gaffer's tape, sometimes they put, or oh, this one is a black Kapton tape that they have in here. So you wanna grab it and you wanna pull it upward towards the ceilings straight up don't pull it sideways or anything like that straight upward once you do that now you want to remove four screws one two three four four screws the screw in the middle goes from the bottom cover so remove the screws in here they do actually have a labeled screws right on them in here the screw obviously goes from the other side so remove the screws these screws they do have a c lock on them too so if you purchase the new battery, it doesn't come with a screw, you might want to yank these screws out and push them through the uh, new battery screws. So they don't have a C-lock, pretty much the bottleneck is the plastic. 
So you can forcefully pull them out. Use other tiny pliers and pull these screws out and put them on the new one. All right. Once you get a new battery, it does, they do not give you with, with a cable. So you need to grab this cable. has a little gaffer's tape on it. Rip this gaffer's tape. You know, like that from this side. There you go. So peel this gaffer's tape up. And then you want to pass it through here. Bring it to the other side, untangle it, more gaffer's tape to peel off, and bring it like that. And once you all loosen up, you want to grab it from the corner, from right at the back here, and you want to pull it out just like that. And there we go. Once you got the new battery, it should be something like this. You want to grab the cable that you pulled from the other one, you want to put it in a jack right in there and push it all the way in there, make sure it clicks in. Then you want to run the cable across, pull it down, nicely put the gas on the table, that looks nice. Now you want to pull this connector right through this hole, right in the middle, and bring it the other side, lay it flat, and tape it down. And there we have. Once you got the new one in, just put it right straight over. And tighten up the screws for off them. Always cross the screw them, don't go around, just do one on the side and then do the bottom corners. You don't need to go crazy tightening up these screws, just go firmly. Once you're done with that, all you want to do is to grab the connector, make sure you put the connector, align it first straight in front of the jack, over the jack, and then you want to push it towards the motherboard and it has to click in both sides it has to nicely click don't move it around otherwise it will create a short on the board if you want to replace the bios battery is right in here it has a little adhesive so you just have to pull it pull it out peel it out has a double sided adhesive you bring it like that and you can just push it pull it backward and you can remove the bios battery this is a 3 volt BIOS battery. If you remove the BIOS battery, it will reset the BIOS to default state. All right. Now, once you're done with that one, all you want to do is grab the bottom cover, put it straight over, align the corners, grab the front end, and then squeeze it. Make sure you hear those nice big click sound on the side. In the back, you want to, just right by the hinges, you want to squeeze these two together the cover just like that so they just go to its place now to finish it off is just to tighten up the screws right on the bottom now regarding the new battery in once you put the new battery on the laptop you do not want to power on the laptop if you accidentally did turn it on don't worry about it just power it off as soon as you can once it's off you want to plug in the charger and leave it charging at least for four to five hours after four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger plugged in, and you want to drain the battery slowly. Don't put any heavy load or anything like that. You slowly drain the battery, bring the brightness of the screen down to 50%. Make sure it drains down. Remove the timer for a standby timer, put it to never. So it slowly brings it down to 20%. Once it's down to 20, 10%, you want to power it up. Then you want to plug in the charger and you want to let it charge again for four to five hours while it's up. After that, you can power it on as you wish and use it as you always do. And that initial charge and discharge it is very important for the new batteries. And you should do that once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery on its peak performance. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.